Guys, it is the day after surgery. Um, I'm back home now. Um, I left sir. I left the hospital like around um, 4:30, five o'clock. Um, got my medicines. Um, they sent me home with three prescriptions. One for indigestion. Um, a pain med and a um, I forget, but anyway, um, right now I've been trying to digest the water. I went to, um, I did my surgery through University of Cincinnati, Westchester. My surgeon was um, Jonathan Thomas. He actually invented the um, new gastric sleeve um, clamp that they're using on surgery, so I felt very secure about that. Um, right now, how I'm feeling is um, just a lot of pressure, like right here and right here. Just a bunch of pressure. Um, I'm using my ice pack that they gave me. I just put it back and forth in the freezer. Because I got two of them, so I rotate them. And I just hold it here because it releases pressure. Or I put it on my incision, which I'll show you my incision for my stomach. Okay, so I got one, two. Three, four, five. So I got five incisions. Um, my weight starting was 284 pounds. My highest weight was 298. But um, when I first started this six week, I mean six month thing, I was two. Um, 84. Then I got down to 276. And weight before surgery was 264. Um, I haven't weighed myself. Of course, I'm not going to weigh myself probably at least two weeks after this little process. But, um, right now, I'm just drinking my boost. I rotate between this. He has 20 grams of I'm on an 800 calorie diet, um, 80 grams of protein a day, um, try to get more of that. And if you decide to get this surgery, just want to let you know, like, I don't regret, I don't regret getting this surgery because I know I needed it. <laughs> I was tired of, like, yo-yo dieting, like, I would lose weight, I'm talking about up to like 60 pounds, gain it back, lose it, gain it back, lose it. and that's like so annoying. Um, then I started getting diabetes, and then I had to start taking injections for diabetes, um, hypertension, just all these things that are just, and I'm only 32, so I'm like, I'm not going to be like 42 years old and like in a wheelchair or something, I messed up because of diabetes or anything having to do with diabetes or weight or whatever so they suggested this to me like five years ago and I was like no I'm not into surgery because I don't like people touching on me don't cut on me don't do nothing to me <laughs> you know I'm like one of them types I don't even like to take medicine like literally but um I don't regret it it was a long process I had to do the six month um, pre-op um pre-op visitation where I have to go like do all these um, I had to go do all of these appointments you know to check your heart they, you know you gotta go to the pulmonologist you gotta go to um, all these different people just to make sure you're healthy within the six months um, as well as going every month for um, 
weigh-ins. You know, they you have to. My, I mean, my my insurance since they have to lose. I had to lose a certain amount of weight, but they just basically said like, as long as she's not gaining weight, and um, I think gaining weight I lost weight and. I lost weight. So now I'm just in my healing process. The first day. I want to go back to school next Monday, so I'm just going to try to take care of myself as much as possible so I'm able to do that. I know I look a hot mess, excuse me. But I just wanted to like show you guys what I'm doing. And um, like I was going about to show you, this is a um, 16 ounce cup that they gave me at the hospital. And um, so far I've got six ounces to go. Now I've had this cup since... I think I... Um, oh, right before I left the hospital. So 4.30. 4.30. Uh, sorry, I got a lot of gas. The gas pressure is crazy, but you got to get it out. Like, every day it gets better. But that's what that pressure is. That pressure is, like, right here. Because what they do is they actually blow your stomach up to get into it and you see it and everything. So you got all that extra gas just in your stomach. But, um, yeah, I, they filled this cup up right for me right before I left. And so far, I've, I've drunk one, two, three, four, five, six ounces. Six ounces in what time is it? It's probably like eight. So, um, sorry, it's really hard for me to think right now because the pain level is like crazy. Um, what did I say? Oh, so 4 30. Um, so, about four hours it took me to drink. Five ounces, six ounces of water, which they, you know, that's why they really was like, you know, not have given me a problem about leaving, because they really wanted me to stay. But I was like, no, I think I'm doing good. Blah blah blah. You know, good. And I was peeing a lot. Like I didn't have. I know a lot of people talk about issues about um, ingesting water and like throwing it up. I didn't have that issue. I thought I was gonna have an issue because I throw up a lot anyway due to before surgery. So, but I'm glad to know that I've been able to ingest the water and, um, and um, not spit it up because, of course, I need the water for dehydration purposes. Um, plus, when, when you take the pain medicine, like, they won't give you a lot of pain medicine if you are literally, like, throwing up water because your stomach is already so small. And if they give you pain medicine, you know, so I'm at pain medicine on top of you don't have nothing in it, you can really, you know, hurt yourself. So they want to make sure that you're ingesting water. And so, like.